Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a reaction to the great game by Martin Jones of Philadelphia Flyers defense and getting enough goals in the 2-1 to one win over the Washington Capitals out there in Washington after having a downtrodden effort that they didn't play a complete game against a shorthanded Penguins team. The Flyers picked up the pace and played a really good game against the shorthanded Capitals team in the end tilt. The shots were tied, but Martin Jones, throughout the beginning half or really couple periods of this game, was sharp, really zoned to the shot, but didn't have to make as many of those A-plus saves. Then in the third period, <clears throat> that's when, excuse me, the Capitals really pushed on the ante and beat us 15-6 to in shot, and Martin Jones had to make a lot of high-octane chances saves, and he stepped up again and is now 3-0, and count them 3-0, and which is a magic number here in Philadelphia, obviously the great Allen Iverson's former number. So 3-0, and Martin Jones is here as well, starting his young career with the Philadelphia Flyers. So he has had a great start to his Flyers career. Obviously, we had a nice bounce back. Brass took a bad penalty. Derek Broussard obviously punching from from the bench. That's something you can't do. I mean, it's obvious. Um, but he bounced back and got the goal, and that's what you love to see. You love to see the bounce back of this team. This is a different team. Jamie Baskell, the wonderful, brilliant Jamie Baskell of Nitty Gritty. Follow Flyers Nitty Gritty for great Flyers coverage as well as Flyers Fan Mania 93. They do great stuff in both places, but he tweeted about just how this team is different than last year, and they are. They have a completely different compete and bounce back level than last year. Drew, like he's firing one-timers pretty much whenever you set him up for them, where before he would kind of do fakes and then kind of overthink it. This team is just more aggressive in all facets. They stepped up to the line, really didn't let anybody get in the attacking zone much throughout this game. Ovechkin was limited really well. He really only got his shots at the end of the game when he you really start pushing and know Ovi's going to get his shots at that point. But in the meat of the game, the Flyers really did limit Alex Ovechkin really well. And that's going to obviously help you win these games when he's been a absolute killer and destroyer of the Philadelphia Flyers in his entire career. So the Flyers in all facets, Justin Braun continues to step up and be amazing with Yvonne Provorov. That line has been flawless as far as I'm concerned. Even in the last game, that was the one line that actually looked okay. So, that line has been flawless as far as I'm concerned. Yandel and Sealer stepped up against Sealer took the one penalty in front, but that was honestly probably necessary. Ovi might have been able to pound that in if he didn't take that penalty, so that was probably a good play by Nick Sealer. So, I give him, honestly, a kudos to that. There's some penalties that you got to take, and that was probably in that category. But <clears throat> the Flyers played their best complete game, honestly. Even though they only scored two goals, they might have played their best complete game of the season because they just defended really well, didn't really let the Capitals get many high-octane chances until their push in the third period, and really defended in the zone, just didn't allow them to get in the zone often to create chances. And if they did, you saw the Flyers diving around, making all these great plays, making block shots, making diving stick checks like Cam Atkinson did. I mean, this team's effort is just max in games. Even last game, I never doubted their effort when they're in their losing effort. It was just, they just didn't look sharp. And then in this game, they completely did a 180 and looked completely sharp throughout this entire game, played also their best second period, and then were a little bit off, of course, in letting them get chances at the end in the third, but still played a good third period because a lot of the chances up until the final, like, eight-minute stretch were really chances that Morton Jones helped you on a couple, but were not the high octane, and then Morton Jones turned on the lights and played like the old school Morton Jones of like the 2014-15 Sharks days, basically, when he was playing good out there, which is what he's done in his first three games here. So if I have to give stars of the game for this game, I would have to say the first star of the game because he stepped up and was able to get you a big win and really step up in the end and make a bunch of key high octane saves. That has to go to Marty Jones. The second star of the game <clears throat> is going to go because of his bounce back ability um, from being able to just bounce back from the penalty. I'm going to give that to Derek Broussard with the first star of the game being tied with Rasmus Ristolainen because he looked so flawless out there 
Justin Braun and Yvonne Provorov line because they look great. And then the winning goal scorer, Sean Couturier. So, yeah, we cheat here. We make a little bit of a fudging to the stars. That's how we do it here at Sports Fanatic News. But that's the three stars. That's the reaction to this wonderful game. Great complete game from the Flyers, from the defense to the front. And, yes, they only scored two goals. But that's all they had to score because once they got the two goals, this team defended the lead really well. Kept the lead against the Washington Capitals to the end. Marty Jones came up big. The defense, all three lines, played their best concise all three lines together game on the defense as far as I'm concerned, other than excluding the game Brian Ellis was in, but since he's been out. So this has been a hell of a game for the Flyers, a hell of a game to build on, and a great game to go into playing, obviously, a good offensive team in the 6-4-1 Toronto Maple Leafs as we welcome them into the Wells Fargo Center returning home next Wednesday. So this has been Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork. Subscribe on the easy to use widget up above if you enjoy the content or down below on the subscribe button down there. Have a great safe and pleasant day everybody and as always let's keep that bring it to broad energy going and keep the winning ways going. Peace out everybody.